Is this it? Is this the end? What sequence of events brought me to this point? What important circumstances led me here? Is this the cruel, painful plan that was orchestrated by a malevolent deity? Who am I really? What purpose did I serve in this life that was granted to me? I suppose I'll never know. If this is what my life has led up to, and if this is truly the end, then I accept my fate. The first ever Galaxy Note was launched back in 2011. It most certainly single-handedly kickstarted the large screen trend, and became widely accepted as the first commercially successful tablet, and it pioneered what is now one of the most popular and successful smartphone lineups to date. It's amazing to consider that what started as an experiment has blossomed into a category of its own. The Samsung Galaxy Note series has been at the forefront of smartphone evolution since its launch. But it seems it won't be the case anymore, because as of now Samsung has no plans of launching the successor to the Galaxy Note 20. As a Galaxy Note fan, it really pains me to say this, but it seems this is the end of the iconic Galaxy Note line. We have multiple credible sources telling the same thing. Starting with Ice Universe who previously said there will be a Galaxy Note 21 later in 2021, but now claims that there is currently no information on the development of the Galaxy Note 21 series. Samsung usually starts working on the Note Linux around 8 months prior to the launch, but having no information on it is certainly not a great sign. Maximum Winner Batch who revealed detailed specs and features of the Galaxy S21 Linux yesterday dropped the bomb seemingly confirming Ice Universe's tweet that there won't be a Galaxy Note 21 next year. He says Samsung's 2021 roadmap includes 7 major releases, but not a single Galaxy Note 21 device. Those are S21, S21 Plus, and Ultra in January, S20 Fen in the second half of the year, and the foldable Z Fold 3, Z Flip 3, and Z Fold Fen. Z Fold Fen is going to be an affordable foldable phone which is amazing. We've heard rumors about the affordable foldable phone for a while, and it seems it's finally happening next year. Maximum also mentions at least three of those seven devices will include support for the S Pen. And those are going to be the S21 Ultra, Z Fold 3, and Z Fold Fan. By the way, it seems Samsung is going to skip the number 2 on the Z Flip to align the numbering system with the Z Fold 3. With foldable phones being the next major focus for Samsung, it would make sense to prioritize the Galaxy Z Fold series, and I'm happy that the foldable Linux is finally getting the S Pen feature with a dedicated slot for it. But ending the Note line now is the most stupid decision they could take when the Z Fold is nowhere near the Galaxy Note as far as the number of shipments or the fan base is concerned. Yes, they are giving S Pen support to the S21 Ultra, but unless it has a dedicated slot for it, it's pointless. People don't want to keep track of the pen and most likely lose it. So it's not going to be the alternative to the Note. And besides, the Note is more than the S Pen. For instance, many people buy it for its boxy design and updated and perfected features. And not having a worthy competitor to the iPhone Linux and the 4 is going to hurt Samsung, since the Z Fold is still a gimmick to a lot of people. In my opinion, Samsung is ending the Note line too early. Maybe a couple of years from now would have been sensible, because at that time foldables would be mainstream but it really disappoints me to see this Linux go after all these years 9 years of being the fan favorite, it would be a shame to finally see that come to an end. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.